President Bashar al-Assad issues a decree stipulating the amendment of some items in the Presidential Decree No. 33 of 2005 on money laundering. Army units chase jihadi takfiris in different areas, inflicting heavy losses upon them. Lebanese security sources confirm that armed troops infiltrating into Lebanon might be linked to a Dahia explosion. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Yerado Krikorian with the news in English. President Bashar al-Assad issued legislative decree number 46 for the year 2013 that stipulates for amending certain paragraphs of the legislative decree number 33 for the year 2005 and the creation of anti-money laundering commission. Under the decree, some of the crimes are to be added to the definition of illegal funds in accordance with the laws and international conventions. The decree also includes the reformation of the board of the commission. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov has reiterated his country's principled stand in favor of settling crises through political, peaceful means with full respect for state sovereignty, independence, and territorial integrity. In a statement, the Russian Foreign Ministry said Lavrov stressed during his meeting with Israeli Minister Tsibi Levni that Russia will effectively work to speed up the convention of an international conference on Syria without preconditions with a view of implementing the provisions of the Geneva Statement issued on June the 30th last year. The statement added that special attention has been accorded to the prospects of steering up negotiations in the Middle East as emphasis was laid on the efforts exerted to get out of the long-term deadlock reached in the negotiations between the Palestinians and the Israelis. Welcome back. In Damascus suburbs, our armed forces continue to advance in the villages surrounding Sayyida Zainab neighborhood, tightening control on a number of buildings in Hijra and El Spaine after eliminating all the terrorists inside them. In Homs, Syrian Arab army continues proceeding in Babhud neighborhood after killing many terrorists, including some who hold foreign nationalities near Al Masoudiya school. Meanwhile, in Al Khalidiya neighborhood, Syrian Arab army units achieved, achieved progress after maintaining control on many streets and schools, including Umayyad school and approaching into Ben Alo Park. In Homs countryside, Syrian Arab army eliminated an armed terrorist group that tried to attack the employees of Shanshar Silos, while four tunnels were discovered in the farms of Kafaraya. Three of them are 500 meters long and the fourth stretches at 1,500 meters. In Deir Zor, our armed forces intercepted an attempt by armed terrorist gangs to attack a metro checkpoint near Al Mariaia village in the governorate's suburbs, eliminating a number of terrorists, including Basim Al Mahamid, Bashar Abdul Qadir Jarallah, and Qasim Al Hussein Al Ali from a terrorist group called Al Rahman Soldiers Brigade, and Mahmoud Hamid Al Khalifa and Abdul Rahman Al Sallan from another group called Ahl Badr Battalions. The army also clashed with another terrorist gang called the Euphrates Commander's Battalion in Al Arfi neighborhood in the city of Deir Zor, killing and injuring most of its members, including Ahmed Samir Kharaba. 
A unit of the armed forces confronted an armed terrorist group which attacked a military checkpoint in Mahajja village in Dara countryside, killing and injuring a number of terrorists and seizing a car loaded with a big amount of ammunition. Other units of the armed forces targeted hideouts of Jabhat al-Nusra armed terrorist groups in Enkhil city and in the irrigation building in Lamzayrib town, killing and injuring a number of terrorists. Meanwhile, army units continued to chase terrorist groups in the city of Dara, inflicting heavy losses upon them. An official source said that the army units clashed with a terrorist group, killing its leader, Rizq al-Jad'an al-Karad, along with other members. The source added that policemen guarding al-Mahatta police station confronted terrorists to attack the police center, killing and wounding a number of them. In the presence of representatives of concerned international relief organizations, the Supreme Relief Committee has discussed ways of expanding the prospects of cooperation among the various relief sites and the means to alleviate the burdens of the citizens who had been harmed by the acts of terrorism and blockade. The Minister of Social Affairs, Dr. Kinda Shammat, underlined the importance of coordination between the committee and the UN organizations working in Syria. The main topic of discussions revolved on ways to convey assistance to those who need them and overcome any obstacles in the way of this objective. Finally, Lebanese security sources confirmed that the western Biqa area is witnessing the infiltration of extremist groups through illegal border crossings. The source pointed out that groups affiliated with a Nusra terrorist organization usually gather in the towns of al rutaid adjacent to Kamid al mountains. These groups move to Majd al anjar area and other Lebanese areas. Media sources stressed that there is a linkage between these groups and the terrorist explosion in southern district of Beirut. With this, we end our news for today. Thank you for watching. For more details about Syria and the region and to view this bulletin again, you can always visit our website in English, syriaonline.sy. Now to latest business and market news with Vani Genjian, but after a short break.